so good evening everyone so once again welcome to our uh, webinar number 9 the jima memorial isl cricket club welcomes you uh, for the ninth webinar so let us uh, start the proceedings for the day uh, may i request uh, mr paul to uh, start off with the uh, welcome hi yes what do you want good evening friends tonight we are going to watch the ninth and final episode of our webinar series my cricketing days in calicut and beyond a journey which our club had started in august in which luminaries of our past cricketing stars of calicut had taken us through their valuable and innumerable experiences on and off the cricketing field has already been archived and has left all of us with such a overwhelming experience we are not stopping with these webinars and we are still planning to come after a brief gap in which we the members of rmecc is ideating on how we can contribute to further the cricketing interests in calicut and beyond all your valuable feedback will be appreciated we are getting ready for the jan 17th game of ecc versus the legends most of our speakers have agreed to play in this match i request you all to attend this game at the devagiri grounds on jan 60 17th 8 am let's make it a cricketing history of calicut the evening function at malaba palace on the same day will have a panel discussion on calicut cricket the way forward in which dr raghavan will be the moderator and chosen few will be on the panel due to the present covid protocols we will be able to conduct this meeting only on a invite basis however the recording of this discussions will be made available to all soon after the function today it is a fitting tribute to our webinar series to have a great personality who started his cricketing days in calicut and went on to play cricket at the national level and currently he is the director of one of our favorite teams in the ipl that is the chennai super kings on behalf of us all of us let me welcome you sir to this webinar welcome sir i see a lot of familiar faces and regular viewers along with some new faces today in this uh, webinar let me welcome you all so let's all go down memory lane once more thank you thank you paul uh, just a small announcement to co host all the co host please don't admit anyone if you don't know them please because there's a deliberate uh, attempts being done to Oh, mess up the chat box and uh, all this what is happening please don't let anyone in if you are not uh, sure who he is okay uh, i have deleted some of the people i have removed them from the group uh, from attending uh, but still there are few more okay so, uh, please don't admit anyone uh, uh, unless if you are very sure that who he is yes uh, we may have to uh, unfortunately we will have to i think miss few people in this but uh, you can't help it yep and just remove uh, there are a few more people please admit only the known names please okay okay look we can also clear the chat box oh yeah and i'll do that uh, now i was just looking at the names uh, let me just try sharing it and see what is happening yeah there is a particular number 831 no that's okay i don't think there's a issue with the number it is a few names were there i've removed most of them let's see how it goes oh okay okay yeah as we uh, uh, also would like to remind that we have our youtube channel uh, running renji memorial society ecc uh, request once again to all please 
uh, like and subscribe this uh, YouTube channel of ours. This is how it looks like. Uh, so you get all the earlier uh, sessions what we had. This is one page. We have a second page where we have the others also. So all the recordings uh, are there in uh, YouTube. The YouTube channel is on. Uh, so going ahead. Uh, after that, uh, on 17th, uh, please take this as a personal invite. Uh, on 17th, we have a, like a match uh, which will be there on eight, from 8 a.m. onwards. We will have a ECC versus RS team match. Uh, we have announced the team is there. We prepared the list of names of players already who are confirmed to us. But it's a special request to each and every one. Uh, to come and witness all the stars and the legends of Calicut cricket on 17th morning at Devagiri College grounds at 8 a.m. So this is a personal invite. Please do come, all of you. And also on the same day, we are having a small uh, uh, competition for the kids under 15 boys and girls. So there's a super over where they'll be given an over to ball and uh, whoever takes uh, maximum wicket uh, will be given a prize. So we'll have a few winners, both boys and girls. So please ask all the children to come on 17th to Devagiri College grounds at 8 a.m. So uh, before I hand over uh, uh, to... Uh, I know, just an uh, just a, uh, uh, interruption. A uh, yeah. few people are in the admit room. So okay. if anybody can recognize them, please admit them. Yeah, I please don't read the names. Them. Please don't admit them. Yeah. If, uh, if uh, any co-host, please viewers, read out the them. names and then uh, yeah, we'll admit others. We'll not admit anyone more. Yeah, one uh, uh, Valia Purail uh, centered. So whoever, even in the audience, if anybody knows them, please put it in the chat box. So we'll admit them if they know them. Yeah, I think it's Harish. Please go ahead, Anu. Please go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let me uh, hand over the mic to... Uh, Mr. Vishwan from uh, Perintal Manna. As all of you know, he is one of our st uh, Kerala State former players. And he is, uh, he is in the BCCI panel of empires. And he is a trainer to the empires right now under BCCI. And we thought he is uh, one of the persons who have been regularly attending all our webinars. And uh, I think he is the best person to introduce uh, the well-known Kalli. I think Sir so would like to be called as Kalli. <laughs> Than any other name. So over to you, uh, Mr. Vishu. You can unmute and then talk. Yeah. Should I, oh yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Good evening, everyone. Fine. Let me first of all wish you a very happy New Year, even though. Related. I feel it as a great privilege, a great honor to introduce to you Mr. Kalyan Sundaram. Mr. Kalyan Sundaram needs no introduction to the cricketing fraternity. Nicknamed as Kali, his presence on the field, his and off the field, is what do you call acceptable to everyone. But as a matter of formality, let me do the honors. Balasubramanian Kalyan Sundaram, that is his full name. He was born in Tamil Nadu in the town of Kumpakonam, in the temple town of Kumpakonam in the year 1947, to be exact, three days before India got its independence. He had his schooling in the village of Banadurai, where his only hobby was, other than studies, swimming, no cricket whatsoever till the age of 15 and that too only feel of tennis ball cricket. His academic brilliance brought him to REC with scholarship to pursue studies in engineering. And that is where the cricketer Kalyan Sundaram was born. Even at REC, the village boy, the Village boy.
But what happened later? One could see stumps flying, and he was making the red ball talk. The cricketer Kalyan Sundaram was born in RSA. I wish Mr. Kalyan Sundaram will uh, highlight his RSA days. He was a regular in the college nets. He was a regular in the college team that got him into the district teams. And of course, later on to the university team, which later captained. But what really transformed his cricket was his performances in the Puja knockout tournaments. That also Mr. Kalyan Sundaran should be able to highlight more, more, more details. But I, one thing I should mention, his very first match in the Puja knockout tournament in 1964 as a teenage boy. He was representing Malabar Club, Malabar Cricket Club, Calicut. And uh, they were playing the FA Club Kuchin. The FA Club Kuchin had almost all the state players with them. And uh, defending a total of 105, if I'm right, the FA Club was bowled out for 95 with Kalyan Sundaram picking seven wickets. Kalyan Sundaram, the player, the player of the next stage was born. He was a regular in the state junior teams. And uh, it was only a matter of time. This within two years. He got selected into the Kerala Ranji team in 1966, to be exact, at the age of 19, while still he was a student at the RIC. His debut for Kerala was against his home state, Tamil Nadu. But that debut was not memorable. He dropped a catch of his own bowling of the very first ball he bowled in Ranji Trophy. Had he latched on to that, that would have been a history of sorts. But for the next 15 years, he was one of the best to have played cricket for both for Kerala and Tamil Nadu. For two seasons, he played for Kerala, eight matches. And there were some memorable ones also. In his very third match, first season, playing against Hyderabad, he took 10 wickets for 107 runs. That is the only 10 wicket haul in his entire career. And that was instrumental in Kerala winning against Hyderabad for the very first time. Ali should be able to highlight that also more to the viewers. And there is a story in the very next match against Karnataka, the then Mysuru. Karnataka declared their first innings at a very low score. The reason was they don't want to expose Prasanna and Chandrasekhar to the very spell of Kalyan Sundaram. That was Kalyan Sundaram for you. He played two seasons for Kerala and in 1968, after his graduation from RDC, went to Tamil Nadu representing Tamil Nadu in the Ranji Trophy for nearly 12 13 years. And representing Tamil Nadu was not a joke. Tamil Nadu had some of the greatest players like uh, Venkat Raghavan, Viliyappa, Satyanjar Singh, Kripal Singh, VV Kumar. See, to name the list is endless. And to find a place in that team itself is not a joke. But Kali, as he is affectionately called, was able to manage it and for 10 consecutive years he was part of the team. 12, 12 consecutive years he is part of the team. He is the first Ranji Trophy player from Tamil Nadu to complete 50 matches. The first fast bowler to take 100 wickets. Mind you, first fast bowler those days when Indian cricket was dominated by spinners like Vangatravan, Bedi, Chandra, Prasanna, Rajinder Goyal, V.V. Kumar. The list is endless. Uh, Vishesha, you are muted. Sorry, you are muted. muted. You are muted. Okay. Yeah. 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 He was he was playing in an era when Indian cricket was dominated by players like Sunil Gavaskar, G R Vishnuath, Manchur Ali Khan, Patavdi, M L Jaisim, Chandu Bode, Dilip Sadh. See, the list is it goes on, goes on, goes on like that. But Kalyan Sundaram was able to match up with them with his performance. And on many occasions, he was almost on the verge of getting selected to the Indian team. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And once Kalyan Sundaram was asked how he felt in spite of his best performances, he is uh, not finding a place in the Indian team. It was very philosophical with his answer. See, I have played my cricket for 40 matches with the likes of Venkatragon and B.B. Kumar on the same team. 
each match was was a test match for me each match was a test for me i have captured the wickets of jr vishwanath i have captured the wickets of mansur ali khan patode abbas ali beg ml jay singha all the greats See, that is more than playing test match for me sir we salute your humility really then uh, sledging we all know about sledging sledging on the field which is a common thing you know but have you ever heard of sledging off the field i'll tell you a story tamil nadu were playing their semi final match at pune against maharashtra maharashtra needed 120 runs to win and on the third day during lunch time kalyan sundaram went to the maharashtra dressing room and said your innings won't last beyond 4 pm today your innings won't last beyond 4 pm today maharashtra team at that time were discussing their plans to play the finals next week it was a rude shock to all those who was present and big laughter in the tamil nadu dressing room but what happened later kalyan sundaram took three wickets maharashtra was bundled out for 96 and tamil nadu reached the finals for the very first time and the finals they played at uh, chennai against mumbai mumbai was practically the indian team sunil gavaskar uh, ashok mankat ajit wadekar patmakar shivakar all the team the match got over in two days and uh, one ball but here also kalyan sundaram made a pitch for himself he created history he took a hat trick in the mumbai second innings the first player to take a hat trick in a ranji trophy final mumbai at one stage were 116 for 6 all out 116 the figures of kalyan sundaram 6 overs four balls eight runs four wickets unbelievable sir that record remained for 44 years it was broken only in 2017 by rajinish gudbani of vidarbha against delhi so and on the third day first of all kalyan sundaram got out you know what happened immediately he went to office at 11:30 could you believe it how many players will do that he went to office at 11:30 that was his commitment for work and on the field fully committed off the field also fully committed that is kalyan sundaram for you and there are a lot of stories regarding his batting and all let me come to his records first He has played 51 matches, taken 147 wickets, has an astonishing average of 20.03. Mind you, a fast bowler having an average of 20.03 and playing for 10 consecutive years in a day when there was no physios, no doctors, and without an injury. That's all. That was Kalyan Sundaram for you. And almost his strike rate was three wickets per match. how many bowlers in india even today have that boast of that record very few very few and he has scored nearly 334 runs that might look little as for the records but on many occasions his batting has really saved the team's cause the best example is the third match against hyderabad he along with the then our kerala captain the late dr madan mohan the last wicket partnership of nearly 30 odd runs saved kerala and kerala won by one wicket this support for his billion there was the bowling performance of 10 wickets also there is a funny story floating regarding his batting his teammates used to make fun of him for his batting and uh, once he made a bet with uh, mr vendra raghu that he will score 25 runs in a match in in one ranji trophy match the bet was 25 rupees and in one particular match with a lot of grit got of determination he has he was batting and reached the score of 24 then vangal round declared the innings closed to everybody surprise to everybody surprise the innings was closed but kalyan sundaram got his bet of 25 rupees 25 rupees that is kalyan sundaram for you and off the field as i mentioned he was a he is a very hard core professional very hard core professional an engineer by qualification with a masters in administration he has worked for the industrial giants like chennai sir india cements lmw coimbatore then kemplast and retired as vice president purchase kemplast 
and even after retirement he is closely associated with cricket he was chairman selection committee uh, tamil nadu cricket association he was a match referee with bcci and a very highly rated at, at that and at present he is one of the directors of the cricket franchise chennai super kings happily settled in chennai with wife rajalakshmi his two sons rajesh and dinesh both engineers they are uh, working at uh, in the us and settled in us sir truly you are an all rounder and a hat trick man hat trick man i mean when once he took the hat trick in uh, that uh, ranji trophy final the great sunil gavaskar came and patted on his shoulder and addressed him as mr hat trick man sir truly you are a hat trick man a cricketer par excellence a great administrator and a wonderful person please please take center stage thank you thank you very much thank you thank and you i must sure. add also one more thing yeah one second i can can i add one more thing sure sure go ahead can i add one more thing there is a great correlation between kalyan sundaram tamil nadu and uh, kerala cricket he made his debut for kerala against his home state tamil nadu he made his debut for tamil nadu against kerala his last match for tamil nadu was thank you thank you sir uh may I welcome uh, uh, the the personality we have been waiting uh, over to you sir as you would like to call yourself kalli <laughs> you need to unmute yourself sir before you start so can you unmute yourself are clear yeah 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 huh? uh, yeah uh, your your source clear uh, unmute i if i am are you able to hear me now yeah sir we are loud and clear sir good are go you... ahead you can go ahead sir yes yes clear clear uh, good evening uh, to every one of you and i am my sincere thanks to the organizers for having invited me for this webinar Uh, i honestly i didn't expect this and at the same time you know uh, i feel privileged to be a part of this webinar for the simple reason the topic itself eminently fits me the topic is your cricketing days in calicut and beyond to me i am not able to go beyond calicut for anything that i think calicut comes to me first uh, i started my cricket only in calicut Uh, as vishwam rightly said vishwam has said so many things which i want to say uh, but now so i think i would continue and sometimes there could be a repetition sort i think you'll... when i came to kali it was purely for educational purposes cricket was just farther uh, from my thinking in terms of making a professional debut or professional uh, career or something like that it was just not there because i lost my father and mother at a very young age and i felt uh, education is the only way to succeed there uh, what happened the first year nothing happened second year there is one guy who entered my room and he changed the entire complexion of the whole issue my career itself uh, i must honestly say uh, his name here because i still uh, owe a lot of gratitude to him his name is ai raman Harry is called Raman Itenath. He himself uh, was a very, very good cricketer. He played uh, Kerala Juniors, played for Kerala University. He was also in the Ranjit of his squad much before me. He was a wicketkeeper and a competent batsman, and most importantly, most wonderful human being. Even today, uh, he is a great guy to approach, and he is none other than the son of former Chief Justice of Kerala High Court, Mr. P. T. Raman Nair. i think i hope he is listening to me today rama i am saying this with lot of uh, 
personal pride because i owe you quite a lot and you have done so much to me which you don't know but i still admire and i still uh, think of you every now and then for what i am today uh, in terms of even after retirement you can call as a cricketer or i was a cricketer or as a whatever you can call it i think uh, you have played a very big role in my coming up in cricketing life a big thank you to you through this webinar if you are there please accept it and if you are not there see the youtube and accept it again uh, uh, to be studying in rec is again a dream come true for many many people uh, those days when you go and tell everybody where are you studying rec calicut people look up to you that is the kind of uh, aura which one will have if you study in rec and especially in rec calicut it's something very very special uh, gentlemen i think all of you will have to bear with me because i might get excited or i might get um, emotional as i start talking to you or as i start taking you through the journey of my cricket i am also very clear that i am not kapil dev i am only kalli i am only kalyan sundaram i have my limitations i know that but still i still feel a part of uh, i'm very proud to be a part of calicut first proud to be a part of rec again uh, if I, if i look back my life i always felt um, that kerala has come into our lives every now and then it could be individuals it could be temples it could be cricket it could be anything uh, possibly there are two reasons no one ever discouraged me whenever i talk malayalam and the accent that most of you are aware of what i am saying they were never call me even once pandi they always encourage me kali koyapilla samchar chodu Now, even now, I talk to quite a few people, but I don't know how much you would enjoy my Malayalam. I have no idea. But all said and done, I have fascination for Kerala in general, and the language in particular, and the culture of yours is absolutely marvelous. And I'm very, very proud to be a part of that. Now, coming back to cricket, I wanted to say quite a few things. I think Vishwa must take in uh, uh, maybe about thirty percent of that cream with him. It doesn't matter. But I will tell you right away. From Raman. Uh, what happened uh, he just took me out of my room and got into the nets and i bowled then as we some said i started playing for rec then got recognized uh, played kerala juniors and uh, here again if someone is listening karnakaran nayar who former secretary of bcci was my first captain and he captained the side so very well and not only that he encouraged me quite a bit thank you karnakaran if you are listening to me uh, that is where i came up and uh, again coming back to calicut there are some people whom i have to necessarily remember there is one person by name gk rajukopal mr gk rajukopal i don't know whether he is still up there i have no idea you will have to confirm it to me he a magnificent human being uh, and he was the one who really put me on to the, the cricketing map of kerala and beyond uh, one day what happened he called me and said kali Uh, for all of you gentlemen my full name is b kalyan sundaram um my nickname is kali okay I, okay before proceeding are you are you all able to hear me am i clear or am i fast no sir you are loud and clear yeah, perfect oh. perfect okay. he said you have to come with me to tirupunthra and you should play a game for malabar cricket club so i went to my college with the permission of my college authorities the first match as he rightly said was against fact uh, it it consisted of some great players like balan pandit sp malik maru kocha 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 if i remember correctly some great cricketers they were all out for 106 and got them out and all that that put me uh, on the right map of tripuntra to play in puja that is to play in puja tournament is one thing to play in palace oval of tirupunnathurai is something very special uh, this that match immediately where i got seven in case you want the match it was a sort of a surprise and um, even even our own club members did not believe that we could win the match i became a, 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 a regular hero in tirupunnathurai from then on um, i used to normally say um, if anybody has played cricket whether in kerala or in south if you don't play a match in Puj, uh, in palace oval tirupunnathurai your cricket is not complete somewhere other it fascinates me it fascinates many of us in uh, 
Madras, including V. V. Kumar, including quite a few. We have even attended the 60th year function of Tripuntra, where we were specially invited. And uh, I had the uh, pleasure and privilege of uh, playing in that ground for about 10 to 12 years, representing various clubs like uh, not only REC, not only Malabar Club, it was India Simmons, and then later on LMW Coimbatore. It is, a, it, it is absolute pleasure to play there. And uh, no match was ever abandoned. Even if it rains heavily in two hours for heavy rain, in 15 minutes we'll start the game. That is the beauty of that particular ground. And even today, I enjoy uh, going there. And hopefully, uh, it, the next opportunity when I get, when the pandemic whole thing is over, I would love to visit that place. Uh, I, I thought that uh, Tripuntra match was the turning point in my cricketing career to be recognized by uh, Kerala. Uh, second thing I wanted to say was, um, then I got selected for Ranji Trophy. And uh, again, as we showed it, on the very third game against Kagas, against uh, Hyderabad at Kagasankar Sirpur, we beat Hyderabad for the first time. Uh, while he said I took some wickets and all, it's different matter, but I wanted to bring in one facet of uh, Dr. Madan Mohan. He was my captain, such a wonderful guy. Uh, he's no more, unfortunately, brilliant in studies and excellent in terms of, uh, 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 you know, you know in, in, he's, a, he's an excellent captaincy material, I would say that. We won that came partly because he, he came in the same innings when lots of runs were needed. He got 71 not out. He had a partnership. He won the game. At the end of the match, the man of the match was awarded. So everybody felt that uh, Dr. Madan Mohan's innings was crucial for Kerala beating Hyderabad by one wicket. So they named him the man of the match. And the Kagasnagar people presented him two pieces of flannel, that is, pant links. You know what he did? He said, Gentlemen, uh, if you permit me, can I talk? He said, they said, yes. It's not only me who won this match for Kerala, but the entire team. But then I will single out Kalyan Sundaram Kali because he got 10 wickets and he also gave me a stand of 30 and odd runs for the last wicket to win this match. Honestly, the whole thing should have gone to him. But having given it to me, I'll accept it well. But out of two flannels, can I give one to him? And he gave it to me. And, and that showed the class and that showed the, the way he can motivate an youngster like me at that stage was absolutely remarkable. Even today, even to this minute, I remember the gesture of Madan Mohan. Then, um, uh, Kerala gave me uh, some wonderful opportunities to play alongside uh, some great cricketers. Firstly, I will also talk about REC. We had some very, very good players like P.V. Surendran. Incidentally, your P.V. Surendran or our P.V. Surendran lives in Calicut right now. And I was, I was stunned when I got a call last night from him. I think Krishna Kumar gave the number and he had the courtesy to call me. I could speak to him after many, many, many years. Thanks to you, Krishna. Uh, then there are people like I. Raman. Then yes, Srinivas, one good fast bowler from Bangalore. He too played for Kerala much before me. Lovely action, beautiful run-up, a yeah, lovely bowler to watch. Uh, and then uh, there is, um, uh, what is it, one left-arm spinner, I, I forget his name. He's Ar Arun Mathur from Rajasthan. There are some superb cricketers of REC. And we had a great team, wonderful camaraderie. Uh, no, then there's one Venugopal from Bangalore. I think he's from that, uh, in Ernoklam, they had a hotel. Uh, if somebody could correct me and tell me, hey, Venu, you are there. Lovely. Uh, another lovely cricketer, and uh, you, you, very, uh, you, you have become so old. <laughs> what, what a cricketer he was. Wonderful guy. We met him in Bangalore too. Likewise, you know, there's uh, Anthony. There are so many lovely cricketers whom I remember at this chancha. And uh, uh, I'm so blessed to have played with them. Coming back to Kerala cricket, uh, I think many of you must have heard of some stalwart names, uh, which I will, even though you would know it, but let me let it come from my mouth for the. Uh, not for the sake, but I enjoyed playing with them. They were Balan Pandit. Yes, they were asked from Ernakulam. Then um, uh, that great, the one and the one Raviyachan. And uh, uh, then um, uh, Dr. Madan Mohan. And then SP Malik, I.V. Govind, and T.K. Madhavan, to name to Yapak and T.K. Bhaskar. Uh, I don't know whether many of you would know this. 
there is a special um, uh, a thing that has happened uh, from kerala into tamil nadu there are three fast bowlers who played for kerala as well as for madras do you, do any of you have any idea then i will tell you they are ck baskar dr ck baskar one of the finest bowlers tk madhavan uh, gentlemen i think um, i this is also for all of you in any one of the functions you can still invite tk madhavan he is in question if anyone wants i can give the number one of the greatest fast bowlers kerala has ever produced along with baskar the combination of baskar and madhavan those days was absolutely terrific and um, i had the third one was me b3 had the good fortune of playing for kerala as well as for tamil nadu how many people will get that opportunity i madhavan and i played together for kerala baskar and i played together for madras am i not truly blessed that's the way it is so i thought i should mention it to every one of you because uh, you know you don't we don't go back uh, on history and find out what has happened so kerala also has got lots of histories i know kerala has produced some excellent fast bowlers you can call it tini ohan and you can shri shant and maybe the fourth bowler who will be playing for both kerala and madras will be in my view sandeep nair who has just shifted to madras and he has already been selected to play for tamil nadu in the mustakali tournament and i i won't be surprised if he is straight away into the ranji trophy squad so he could be the fourth person everything can happen only after three of us so he will be the fourth person then coming back so i then so i played for two seasons for kerala then shifted to madras Uh, when i that that is my home uh, home town so i have to necessarily because rec will not permit to stay beyond 5 years so i have to necessarily leave kerala and get into uh, madras uh, having got into madras um, uh, i wanted to study further i, I could do some suddenly some rope me into assignments though if you get a job in india and if you play for jolly rovers and if you are very lucky to play for madras to get girls girls for marriage is very very easy but then i didn't i didn't have the luck for some time anyway because i didn't get to play for jolly rovers but i got into the job india siemens and i played a second division for jaihin i played for jaihin but i was getting worried whether i would get into the madras team having taken 25 wickets for kerala i personally felt that i had done reasonably well in first class games and that too against the strong teams to warrant a place in tamil nadu but it is very very difficult if i tell the names you will go for a walk the, the then madras team consisted of pk belliappa <clears throat> unfortunately is no more a brilliant cricketer k r rajukopal venkat raghavan v v kumar a g milka singh a g satyendra singh michael dalvi naja musen dharmalingam how can kali get in c k baskar how can kali get in very very difficult luckily for me i could play a buchibob match where i got five wickets and Pro- in providence i think it is i could impress venkat venkat raghavan so i was in the team they tried me in uh, uh, city districts match and all i think i came out okay so they gave me an opportunity to play for madras here again why i always say your topic fits me brilliantly because kerala and kalyan sundaram or kerala and kalli have got a special affinity they have got a special nobody can separate it whether you invite me for this webinar or not is another issue but kerala and kalli are two something very very special i will tell you the reason uh, if i'm going overboard please bear with me because i told in the beginning itself i can get emotional you can't stop me from doing this you have given me an opportunity to talk about kerala kalli calicut and all that i will talk and whatever i am talking is factual the moment i came into madras i played my first game against kerala you tell me honestly playing against kerala playing for kerala against madras at trivandrum is another issue playing for madras against kerala is another issue then why should i play that match in my own ground in my own place that is at mananjara maidan calicut unless you are blessed unless you are destined to do that 
why should he play in Calicut and I played? And who was my partner at the other end? C.K. Baskar. And I got five weeks in that match. I got the man of the match award. Baskar, Dr. Baskar coming in and telling me, Mone, congratulations. Why are you going to get a hundred months? A hundred thousand years ago. No? This is the way he spoke to me. If my Malayalam is bad, please bear with me. But I will also talk to you in between Malayalam, not to impress you, but also you also have to know that I have not forgotten Kerala in general and the language in particular. That's why I, in between I, I put it in my Malayalam, you please listen to it. Uh, so, uh, in, so Mananjara Maidan, Kali Ket and Kali have got a rapport or a link which is something I consider it even today very special at this age. I think that is one of the reasons possibly why you call me too. So I'm too happy and uh, too delighted to be a part of this webinar to express all these small, small things to you, which I feel very good. I don't know how you would feel it, I leave it to you. Now coming back to this, uh, to play for, uh, as Vishwam said, Tamil Nadu is not easy. It's, generally a spinner dominated thing. Like Prasanna and Chandra for Karnataka, it is Bankat Raghun and Vivi Kumar. All the time it is always, uh, you, the opportunities which come to you are very, very few and far in between. You will have to make use of those opportunities to your fullest advantage. That means the first three overs of new ball or fourth over, Unless you produce one or two wickets, you have no way of bowling further or you have no way of playing the next match. Otherwise, what will happen? I mean, it's jokes apart. You will keep on, after three, four overs, the ball will go to Venkat and VV. You will have to keep on doing from fine leg to third man, well bowled Venkat, well bowled VV Kumar for the next whole day. And at the end of the day, when you come to the dressing room, both your palms will be swollen. Do you want, or do you want to take wickets or do you want to play for Madras? This is your problem. So I was put in such a situation where every match I had to fight it out. Every match I had to fight it out. So what should you do? So this bowling with the new ball was just enough. You have to bowl with the world ball too. To bowl with the world ball, you have to bowl the, you have to bowl the cutters, you have to bowl the score, you have to bowl the score. I was not 1T, 150 and all. You know, what is important to me is you have to be upgraded, you have to be good and you have to ensure that Venkat, and Venkat gives you yet another over to perform. So, but all the same, uh, it, was, it, was a, it, it was a wonderful thing to be playing Tamil Nadu for the 10 consecutive years and to be alongside these stalwarts like, you know, as I told you, Venkat, V.V. Kumar, uh, Mil Singh, Satyendra Singh or Michael Dalby, it's a K.R. Rajakopal, one of the finest cricketers that one could have come across. It's a dream come true. Okay. Now, uh, some uh, um, this is about Tamil Nadu cricket in general. Some interesting matches that we played. I think um, Vishwam has taken the cream uh, out of me by quoting that Maharashtra match. And that uh, if you are, again, it may be slightly, I'll add further to it, even though uh, slightly on the side of duplication, you'll have to kindly bear with me. If you ask, <clears throat> Any Tamil Nadu player of my era, I'm talking about, which is the best Ranji Trophy match that he ever played. Anyone would undoubtedly say that Maharashtra versus Tamil Nadu, the semi final match played at Pune in 1972-73, whatever. Why it was so? That was last match of Chandu Bode, and we made some 160 odd runs, and they made 62-70. They again, we made some. 200 close, closer to one, we have to, they have to make 121 runs for victory. They were talking in terms of conducting the Ranji Trophy final either at Bombay or at Pune as the match was going on. We heard it. I heard it personally. That's why as Vishwam said, I went and told him, it was not sledging per se. I was pulling the legs of Anwar Sheikh and Salgonkar that I would see you before tea in the ground. So normally again, hmm, You can take it with a pinch of salt, but at the same time, you can also take it as a matter of, uh, what do you call, uh, light-hearted uh, uh, comments from me. I'm not one to criticize, or I'm not one to be, uh, you know, harsh against people. Generally, the new balls, 
when you take a new ball, who will select the new ball? The medium paces of the team. Here in Madras, the spinners will select. One will keep like this off spinner, the other one will keep like this less spinner. Oh, the ball is good. VB will throw it to Venkat or Venkat will throw it to VB. That was the only match <laughs> where Mukund and I were called, Kali, you choose the new ball. I asked Venkat, what's wrong? Is it going to rain or what? I just walked up because even then I won't get the first over. So I just said it and walked away. They knew that we were not going to win the game. It was after all 121 runs to victory. The Ch Chetan Chauhan, Madhu Chetan Chauhan, unfortunately, just passed away last year. Chetan Chauhan, Madhu Gupte, uh, Hemant Kanitkar, uh, Yajwender Singh, uh, Chandu Bode, super side. This 121 was a cakewalk. So we come, got them uh, first, uh, just one over, last over to go. Uh, first one over to go for lunch. Uh, I tried to throw one bold and then it was two for one or something. At that point of time, I went into the dressing room and told Anwar Sheikh, I'll see you before tea. Believe me or not, they were 96 for 90. I hear why I have to, why I could say that it was one of the finest matches that we played. That match, the way Venkat captain uh, the team was absolutely out of the world. B.B. Kumar got three wickets without conceding a single run in 10 balls. I already got two wickets. Venkat has already got two wickets. And uh, that tilted the scale in, entire, uh, in, in entirety in favor of Tamil Nadu. So we were actually, they were actually 96 for 9 at T. Balwalagannan, I think many of you would have heard. Uh, he was a former Tamil Nadu Ranji Trophy cricketer, captain. Under his captaincy, Tamil Nadu won the Ranji Trophy for the first time way back in 1956 at Volkar. And he was also a for cricket team to West Indies and the Indian cricket team, a wonderful, wonderful human being, a perfect gentleman to the court. He was our manager. He could not withstand the strain. He came in running and said, look, gentlemen, I'm going away. I'm going to the railway station to book the ticket for a return ticket to Madras. Right? Don't, when I come back, don't tell me I've lost the match. You got only one wicket to take and 24 runs to go. Whatever you want in the world, it is available tonight. And you have to join. Am I okay, Anup? Am I okay? Are yes, you able sir. to see yes, me? Sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. Whatever you do, I don't care. But you have to win the game. But anything you want, everything is on me, not on TNCA. Everything is on me. I want you to win this game. He just walked off. Venkat thought this was the best opportunity to win the game and to enter the finals for the first time. If not first time, in his captaincy. So he stopped giving the ball to BB. BB said, sorry, when he told BB, sorry, uh, you just stay back, BB. I'll, me and Kali will bowl. He gives me the ball, gives me the following. This is the advice he gives me. No full toss, Kali, no slower one, no, no attempts to try out every, your funny things, no bounces. Then what should I bowl? I asked. Straight onto the stumps. Six balls I want only made in overs. I don't want you to give a single run. You know, he already, I was already under pressure. Venkat putting under pressure is different. But when he puts pressure and if you perform, the way he reacts and the way he takes you to the hilt is absolutely seen to be believed. And again, I'll come back about Venkat later. Believe me, he gave me the 43 overs. From this side, on that side, Venkat was born. Three O's made in for me at, on, uh, on a trot. At the score was 96 for 9. And I think Vishwam will correct you if I'm wrong. Venkat got Salgonkar LBW. We won the match by 25 runs. The entire Madras was shocked. There was no commentary those days and all. I think if, I, if I'm right, I don't think. We, we started getting lots of messages from Madras. And uh, that was one match we felt we all played as a team. Venkat's captaincy was outstanding. The will to reach the finals was very much up there. And uh, it was so happy that uh, all the three bowlers performed very well. Fielders performed very well. And Satyendra Singh batted brilliantly. So that is why we reached finals and we reached the finals. But uh, 
the ranjit of final leg is bombay to here i think if you permit me i will say two things about my family with regard to the ranjit of finals against bombay i was shivering to go to the ground on the day of the match if you ask me why the bombay team consisted of this dil dilip sir they saw solkar sunil gavaskar ramnath parker sudhir nayak rakesh tandon and so on the list goes and the list goes on and on so i told my wife uh, how do i go on board you jolly well if you are if you are not going and playing the game i will leave the house i said why come on i got to go on board i somehow that i walked out without realizing that i was going to do something on the second day i went i went for the match so the we played that game and uh, for, they were out for 154 and we were 60 for one or something second day i think rest of the third day morning i thought i would take my wife and son to go and watch this game because it is a ranji trophy final for the first time it's a great uh, uh, event for every one of us in madras and especially for me too coming from a place like um, uh, kumbakonam um, because it is supposed to be considered as big coming to the city playing for tamil nadu with stalwarts whom i used to go and watch but then today i'm playing alongside them and that you are playing against bombay with uh, such a galaxy of stars in it so i thought i would take my wife and son along and if we were in a rented flat so we just came down my neighbor said kali this is a five day game this is the second day i have taken leave why don't you give the tickets to me i had only two tickets my son and us have a wife uh, i had no other go so my wife said okay give the tickets sir i gave those two tickets with reluctance i went to the ground mind you from 60 62 for one or 60 for two i am i don't i don't remember we were all out for 80 bombay batted again second innings they were all out for 113 again i have to tell you here from 62 for six they went into 113 again i want to uh, i am not billeting anybody in but for me to get bowling a second spell or a third spell my go to man was satyendra singh whenever i want bowling i can't go to venkat raghun and tell him venkat why don't you give me a ball and no way he would permit me everybody was literally afraid to approach him on that on that count so i used to go and tell <clears throat> satyendra come on yeah kali satyendra don't give me ask venkat to give me the ball they are not getting wickets and all i will say first reaction of satyendra just go there i have already spoken to him you don't even talk to me if you talk to me you won't get the bowling luckily i got the ball and uh, 113 for 6 113 all out the hat trick is another issue but what is important we lost the game but i got a name and my wife and i used to get some special treatment in madras whenever we go out people used to recognize whenever i used to go in a bus i used to get a special seat sir 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 you are a cricketer you come and sit i used to feel you know who oh, Uh, people still recognize you. That 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 sort of a, that a thrill. I won't say cheap thrill. It is a special thrill uh, which we certainly enjoyed at that point of time. Uh, that is up to the Ranji Trophy final. That that's over. Then uh, I also want to talk to you regarding certain. Uh, this is about my cricket, and I don't want to talk much more about performance, wickets, all that, and I'll forget it because already Vishwam told you. Now there are some interesting. i feel it is interesting uh, things which i thought i should bring it to the notice of um, you listeners <clears throat> you would have heard of tiger putaudi and many people will have different impressions about him fortunately for me can i say i'm blessed can i say i'm very fortunate to have played against him for many years at least about 7 8 years uh every every one of you listening to me would have a different opinion about tiger putout very casual not worried about anything in life princely uh, uh, family he can do and undo whatever he wants no that's not the idea uh, i think i would like to bring it to your uh, uh, notice uh, this beautiful thing that happened in madras 
Um, whatever I'm saying is factual, mind you. Uh, you can always correlate it and uh, get the details from Bishwam, who who happens to be a master statistic, statistician or whatever. He can give you all the details later. This was the match played at Madras, Hyderabad versus Tamil Nadu. Hyderabad won. Jaisima was the captain. Tiger put out again. Hyderabad was a formidable side. I talked about Tamil Nadu. Hyderabad, if you take, it is Jaisima, Abbas Ali Beg. Sultan Salim, Abdul Hai, Yamal Jayasimha, Tiger Pataudi, Abid Ali, Krishna Murthy, Goind Raj and Don. It's almost literally seven or eight test cricketers. They won the toss and elected to bat. So normally, you know, I'm a superstitious guy. There's nothing wrong in admitting that. I used to be the last one getting into the ground. As I entered, I saw Tiger Pataudi parrot at number three. Generally, Pataudi comes into bat after five or six. So I went to him and asked, Tiger, whatever, good morning. How come you are padded up? She was very angry, very tough. I've never seen him before like that. Kali, I'll show you what I am. I will tell you a time, team, go and tell them things that, you know, I'm going to teach a lesson to every one of you. You can't get me out at all. This is what I, I was very, literally surprised. I just walked in. First two over, I got Abbas Ali Beg out, caught uh, by somebody at Gali. Generally, when Tiger comes into bat, uh, you know, because he had only one eye, what happens is uh, for him to align uh, and bat in line with what he wants to, it takes about a few overs. Whether you bowl spin or whether you bowl fast, it's because with one eye, that, uh, that one eye alignment with the bat and the track um, is very, very difficult. Only such people would know. That was the right time for you to get his wicket. So, one guy, R. Ramesh, many of you would have heard of him. He's not there now. Ram Ramesh, formerly of IOB, former state cricketer, opening bat, he came to me and said, Kali, you bowled the stumps pretty fast. Tiger will nick. He'll be out. I'm telling you, first, first three overs, he can't see the ball. I said, okay. I came, second over, he nicked one. I didn't claim, Beliapa didn't claim, nobody in the slips claimed. So he stayed there. He came to the other cree, other non strikers and at some point of time when I bowled, he called me and said, why didn't you claim? I said, what happened? I nicked. Then why didn't you walk? I told him in the beginning itself, I'm, I'm going to be here for a long time. Why would I walk out? What is your problem in claiming? Why are you asking me to walk out? If you had claimed, the umpire would have given me out or I would have walked. None of you claimed. Why should I assume that I was out? And today I am here, I'm here to show you what I am. Believe me or not, gentlemen, instead of taking the story too long, she didn't get out the whole day. She hammered Venkatravan, Vivi Kumar, Kalyan Sundram, SK Patel, whomsoever he got, all over the park in Chepa. And the very next day, afternoon, just before lunch, he got out for 198. I think Vishwan, 192 or 198, I am not, no, Vishwan will tell you. That is what Tiger Patavdi is for you. If he puts up his, uh, if, if he has decided to stay around, nobody can get him out. A magnificent batsman. But he can't play spinners all right. But but the question is, the uh, once he applies his mind and once he says, okay, I'm going to do this, I think uh, a tiger is tiger. So this is about tiger story. And I also want to talk to you about um, Jai Simha. I don't know whether many of you would know about Jaisim. He played in the same ground what I was talking about as Tirpuntra Palace Oval. I have also told in the beginning, again I repeat, if any cricketer from South has not played a match in Palace Oval, or even now I would add, because after all I am from Calicut, let me not forget, in Mananjara, your cricket is not complete. This Jayasimha, the greatest cricketer of our era, played in Tripuntra. Played two years of Puja match because I met him in, uh, when I came with the LMW team, he came with the Hyderabad side. He played there. Uh, I think people should be really blessed. And I had the wonderful opportunity uh, to be a roommate of uh, Jayasimha in Hong Kong as well as in Australia. Uh, P.R. Mansingh took a team of Hyderabad Blues 
to Australia, Hong Kong, uh, Fiji Islands, Singapore, and Malaysia. Whenever the first team goes out on India, the second string normally he takes, so that the cricket, you know, everybody will be uh, in in tune with the cricket, so that nobody misses the sessions. That way, that that particular team consisted of Abbas Ali Beg, Jay Simma, B V Kumar, uh, Billy Appa. Uh, Ram Ramesh, myself, and Abdul Jabbar, and all of us. The wonderful thing about Jay Simha is everybody thinks he talks like this. He has got a separate accent. Uh, he walks in a different way. Uh, he, he very stylish, but at the same time, he has got an aura over him. He thinks too much of himself. He's one guy who thinks he's one hell of a great guy. All those are all bull, and it's not true. He's such a he's such a serious creator. Only if you and those that. Stayed with him in Sydney for about 15 days. In Hong Kong, he said, "Man, Kali will be my roommate." I don't know why he chose me. I, we were together for about three, four days. Outstanding gentleman, outstanding cricketer. What a brain! Uh, in, I'll come back to Sydney. Uh, uh, yeah, there. Every we used to those days and all. We never used to stay in a hotel. Uh, two uh, each guest uh, will take two players or three players something like that depending upon the size of the house so myself jaisima going the raj and one patel four of us stayed in a, uh, what do you call that um, basement where three four rooms were there and uh, in you know australia they used to have really supper and go back this guy starts his session at 7 o'clock i used to be the bartender uh, watching everything and all of us will be glued To what Jaisima is going to talk for the next two hours, three hours, absolute brilliance. She will talk about tactics. She will talk about technique. She will talk about man management skills. She will talk about uh, how to mot uh, motivation skills. Uh, I I literally learnt in those fifteen days what cricket is all about. And uh, any questions that you ask, she will have a ready answer. she won't wait for a single minute she will tell you straight away and all answers everything logical unto the point it was a, it was a brilliant lesson uh, that time you know for an upcoming cricketer like me it was absolutely superb and uh, such a young uh, such a modest and wonderful human being and you know uh, this portion of it is put is cricketing acumen and cricketing abilities how well he conducts himself the part is people used to have used to have a drink move around talk if he finds any one of his teammates like me a loner standing in one corner without any company you know what he does supposing he talks to two three people he brings all of them around to that kalyan sundaram or anybody who is sitting standing alone he will start introducing meet that fast bowler kalyan sundaram very quick oh he's good you have met him tomorrow you'll meet him in the ground come on kali he jay simha can talk in quite a few languages i don't know whether you know it he can speak kanaris that is his mother tongue i think telugu tamil hindi urdu apart from english he will make you feel as if you are a part of the team he will make you feel you are as important as jay simha is that is the uh, speciality about jay simha many of us have got a different uh, now you start assuming and presuming quite a few things from outside the arena fortunately for me um, i had the opportunity to play against to play with these guys you are asking about he is not very serious unfair i can give you one example before i move to some other topic Do i have still time to talk yeah sir please go go ahead sir we uh, we have another at least 10 minutes more Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I. There is one match. Um, they they dropped me and told me you don't have to bring my kit in Sydney. He went there when he saw the grass on the wicket. He told Man Singh, send Kali out and get the kit. We will play. I told him it's a practice match. Nothing doing. Every match is an important match for me. I came and played. Got five wickets. We won the match. That is what. You, you, Uh, you know you don't uh, uh, assume and presume that he is such a character so uh, this is about jay simha as a cricketer as a tactician as a wonderful human being uh, as one who takes the team together 
I think we miss Jayasim as an Indian captain for quite, I think for, I don't think he captained the side. I think he should have been the Indian captain for a long time. Now I'll move out of uh, uh, Jayasimha, then I'll see whether I can give you some more. Uh, um, I, I think um, many of you would know about Vivi Kumar and Venkat Um Unless you are very fortunate, it is very difficult to play alongside Vivi Kumar and Venkat Raghavan for 10 years. Though I can complain saying I did not get too much of bowling because they were dominating the scene and all that. And, but uh, it's a sheer poetry. If two of them come in tandem and start bowling you know, for uh, hours and hours, absolute marvelous. It, you know, it, it, you can keep on enjoying. The way we, I have not seen a leg spinner than VV Kumar till today. You talk about Venkat Raghavan. You, you can't compare Venkat Raghavan with many. I, 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 I don't know whether I'm fair to say this. I don't want to compare him with Ashwin. The kind of uh, batsman that Venkat came across, and the kind of batsman others came across, I'm not comparing, please. Venkat is a specialty. I don't know whether many of you would know how many first-class matches he has played, how many first-class wickets he has taken. I think Vishwam can correct me later or correct other people later. To my knowledge, I think he played 345 first-class games. And Venkat Ravan has taken 1,340 and odd wickets. And that too in England, in Australia, and everywhere. And always he played under the shadow of Prasanna, Chandra, Bedi, and so on. Absolutely a magnificent cricketer. Uh, many people say uh, wrong things about him. Uh, very tough, very arrogant. He talks shit. That's nothing. We are not there to find out how good is he as a human being. We are there in a cricket field. How good is he as a cricketer? What he has done to Tamil Nadu, what he has done to the, what he has done to self is something which not many can really duplicate. Not, not, not many can really repeat. Absolutely fantastic performance by Venkat Raghavan. If you ask me till today, I have no hesitation in, to say that possibly Venkat Raghavan and Vivi Kumar are the two greatest cricketers apart from Kripal Singh, ever to come out of Tamil Nadu. Uh, which I'm saying this because not by playing three matches or four matches, for 10 years on the trot. Absolutely outstanding bowlers. Why I'm saying this to you? Because um, you people uh, have seen uh, Bibi and Venkat and the one who have, was, was played with him for so long. I can't help but talking uh, about these two wonderful bowlers. Let's not worry about personal things. Uh, as cricketers, I can't go even 100 miles. They are so, so, so uh, wonderful. Uh, that is one portion of it. And only one example, because again, I love to relate anything to Kerala. Vivi Kumar, talking, going to talk only about Vivi Kumar for one minute. We played a Ranji Trophy match at Thinnel Valley. I was also playing for Tamil Nadu against Kerala. Vivi, I, was, I used to be in Midan and pass on the ball to Vivi Kumar to bowl. Vivi called me and told me, Kali, I'll get balance wicket now. How? You just want. First, he pulled out the arm, ball and pundit, well left. Second ball, he bowled, outside the ashtam, well left. Then, he winked at me, third ball, outside the ashtam, well left, ashtam was not there. It was a googly. Why, mind you, ball and pundit is a superb batsman. He is not a mean guy. He could have played for any state in the country. I'm again repeating, Balan Pandit could have played for any state in the country. Like Balan Pandit, Dr. Madan Mohan could have played for any state in the country. Like what C.K. Bhaskar and T.K. Madhavan did. These are all, it's so, it, it so happened that Dr. Madan Mohan had to stay in, uh, even I would say, yes, Devaraj of Ernakulam, that wicketkeeper and batsman. He could have played for Madras had he been in Madras. Sheer bad luck happened to in Madras. I'm not that, it's, it's not bad luck. I'm talking about cricketing angle. There are some wonderful cricketers in Kerala who could have blossomed into better cricketers had they shifted base from Kerala into Madras. This is what I wanted to talk about Vivi and Venkat. Then, uh, again, um, so cricket, my experience with all that I was playing and after my retirement from cricket, the way TNCA recognized me. Outstanding. 
and I was out touch for cricket for about 15 years or so. The moment I retired from last, uh, I don't know, I, I just, just finished off in one minute. Uh, again, God's blessings on all you guys' uh, best wishes. Uh, I could have the cake and eat it too because uh, I had a good cricketing career as well as professional career. I forgot to tell you, I should also thank Jason for the correct tips that he gave it to me in Hyderabad. I'm getting the six wickets against Hyderabad. He told me, Kali, you are not going to play for India. I understand that you are quite uh, uh, educated. Better jolly well look after your professional career. Because this Indian team is purely on thinner oriented stuff. For media, new ball can bowl, Kavaskar can bowl, Solkar can bowl, even Patavadi can bowl. We have Chandra, we have Bedi, we have Venkat and all that, so you better look after. You are still in terms of professional. That's the way I moved to LMW. That happened to be a very, very good move. I had a wonderful professional career in LMW too, apart from India Simmons. Then I moved over to Kemplas. Then I served with them for about 19 years and eventually retired there. So coming back, after retirement, TNCA called me and told me, what are you going to do? I said, I have to get my second son married. Nothing, that's fine that you carry on, but then we want to rope you into TNCA. You have to take some interest in cricket. Uh, I couldn't say no. Uh, so I got him. You know how they shaped me, how they <clears throat> sort of put me on the right uh, road uh, to eventually take the final position of chairman of uh, Ranjit Trophy Selection Committee. Since I have not seen and I have not been in touch with the cricketers of earlier years, they put me under chairman as under 17 chairman. Kas Kasi Vishwanathan, a good friend of mine, former secretary of TNCA, now today he is the director of Chennai Super Kings. Kali, you have not seen cricket in Madras for quite some time. So you go through from this level, under 17, under 19, then you can come. I know you played a lot of cricket, slightly unfair to put you as the chairman of under 17, but nonetheless, you should have that uh, you know, feel of all cricketers from the age group. That is the way I became 17 chairman, 19 chairman, 23, Ranji Trophy. Even uh, then they made me a match referee. Again, I have to tell you before concluding, Anup, can you give me some 10 minutes extra? How can I say no to you, sir? No, I don't know because I shouldn't be unfair to any of you. Uh, because I've been holding Please you for go ahead, uh, Mr. Kalyan uh, we, uh, we, we are all uh, like uh, uh, listening to it. Please go ahead. Uh, what What did I say? I forgot. I, forgot. I just came out something. I said something. Uh, can somebody? Uh, Under seventeen selections. Under seventeen selections. Chairman of Ranji selection. Something. You were the selector. You were the selector and you were out of touch with cricket and then how you got back. Yeah, I, 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 the selection process is over. I was the chairman of the selection committee. Then to, I made, they made me a match referee. Here again, I wanted to uh, uh, you know, um, say a few things. Again, again, this Kerala effect or the Kerala uh, affinity caught hold of me. I was under the 17 chairman, went to Agartala to watch my Tamil Nadu under 17 team to play. There, I, from Calcutta, I came in, I straight went into the ground. A tea, one guy comes and tells, asks me, Sir, are you Kalyan Sundaram? I said, I am. My name is Vishwanathan. The one who introduced me, he is the guy. I never expected that I would meet him like uh, there. And Vishwanathan happened to be one of the umpires for that game. And then he hinted me that evening to his hotel. I was staying in a different hotel. Come, come. You, I will also introduce you to Anantha Padmanabhan. You better come and we'll have dinner together. So that particular, again, mind you, this is the Kerala effect or Kerala affinity or you have something to do with Kerala without your knowledge. If you go to Madras also, you'll come back to Kodi Kod again, only come back to Madras. That is the way it is. So when I went there in the evening, the first time I think Anantha Padmanabhan that, that evening. 
So both of them spoke to me and said, you will go to TNC and tell them that you would be, you want to become a match referee. I think you will do well once you become a match referee. Because of Vishwanathan really regular and Anantha Padmanabhan, I went to Kashi Vishwanathan and requested him, if you can make me one, I shall be grateful. That is the way I became a match referee. Then I had a stint of five to six years, one full experience. I had, uh, I did quite a few international games, like uh, sitting Australian side. Uh, then West Indies, that was the year where uh, Sachin Tendulkar was retiring. I did that match of West Indies versus Ranji Trophy winners Uttar Pradesh at Calcutta. Uh, then I had under-19 uh, tournament in Visa, Ginwal, Visa, Ginwal being um, uh, Sri Lanka, India, Australia, and West Indies. Uh, it's a beautiful experience. And uh, what if everybody thinks, you know, you you can convert that match referee job into a wonderful, wonderful. Uh, working relationship with the umpires and with everybody in, uh, in, in unison, you can make this a very interesting uh, job for you. Here I want to mention in Calicut itself, you are probably one of the fine operators that India produced. His name is none other than Narayan Kuti. Mind you, uh, Narayan Kuti and I are wonderful friends. And what a fellow he is. You give him uh, the law you give the playing conditions is so thorough with it and and a wonderful wonderful match referee i'm so happy i think all of us should uh, join together and then send a congratulatory not only con i think you should call him on 17th and possibly compliment him and maybe honor him he is the worst international match referee from kerala or from india and that too from calicut For, forget about Srinath. Second thing is, uh, he had his ups and downs and he fought it. And uh, I'm so happy that he's doing all IPL matches and he's also now uh, one of the recognized wonderful match referees that BCC has. Uh, any chance, uh, Narayan Kuti, if you are listening to this, my personal congratulations to you. I had no other way uh, to express my pleasure. Uh, to these uh, wonderful dignitaries you are all uh, listening to me, I thought people should know about you. Because familiarity should never ever breed contempt. You are a Calicut guy, but they should know a Calicut guy can rise up to the level of international match referee. And you are the one, uh, 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 Narayan Kuti, I am so proud of you. And I am also very happy that we spent some quality time together for quite a while during attending the seminars of BCC. Hats off to you, uh, Narayan Kuti. Coming back again, there is another person I think all of us should be proud of from Kerala is Anantha Padmanabha. Uh, though he's not specifically from Calicut, but he's from Kerala. Wonderful, wonderful umpire to boot. And you know, people say what you miss out in cricket, you, miss, you get it elsewhere. That's God's will. That God's will was Anantha Padmanabha, I don't know, I think you will all know, but even if I'm carrying coal to Newcastle and even if I'm repeating it, doesn't matter. It's worth mentioning in this webinar, uh, one of the best umpires I have associated with. I'm very proud to say. And I'm not trying to please anybody. Please understand, I have no axe to grind with anyone. But this is a fact. All, whatever I have spoken to you till now, it's all factual. It's all coming from my heart. This Anantha Padmanabhan has taken 345 first class wickets being a leg spinner, playing for Kerala, getting 340 wickets of other teams, not Kerala teams, is not an easy job. Just because Anil Kumble or somebody else was there, he was he played some international games and didn't get to play. Today, if you get 23 wickets, you are there in the international side. If you bowl four overs in an IPL team, you are an Indian team. What, what wrong uh, Mr. Anantha Padmanabhan did? How come he didn't get to play? That's why God thought, Anantha, don't worry. I'll make you someone very special. That's why this has become, this theory has become, he has been included in the elite panel, which he thoroughly deserves. And he's so dedicated, he had the cuts to resign his job, dedicate himself to the job of umpiring. Uh, Anantha, very well done. Um, as a man who hails from, I can, can I say who hails from Calicut, doesn't matter, whatever you think. From Calicut, from REC, uh, I'm wishing you all the very best. And the entire Kerala uh, people are so proud of you, Anantha, as well as Narayan Kuti. And again, to um, hats off to Vishwam for becoming an umpiring trainer. And uh, again, one more thing I wanted to say, because of Vishwanath, uh, I'm not singling out, but then I can't um, uh, uh, 
leave the screen, uh, leave the thing without telling this. Because of Vishwanathan, I met a wonderful family from Perindal Manna, from Malapuram. His Mr. Haridas and family. I think he's up here. He's already here. The doctor family. And uh, the way uh, Mr. Haridas and their family treated me, I, even today I cherish it. And uh, you know what? What, the, what, what really, uh, I feel slightly emotional. Kindly bear with me. Mr. Haridas rings me up. Both his son's wedding I attended. And the, it's so, I think it's a coincidence if I'm wrong, wrong. Both came during the Deepavali time. He said, I don't care whether you, you are attending your Deepavali or not, you are attending the son's wedding. I attended. I, second marriage, I came into Guru Ayur. I said, okay, I'll attend. He sent a car and ensured that I attended. So who will be so kind and good to you? What did I do to Kerala? After all, I came. What do you think of Again, when I say Guru Ayur, I love to definitely say this. When I was in Kerala, when I was in REC, the first song that I heard, mm -hmm. or that came to mind, was Chetim Mandaram Tulasi Pichaka Malachati Guru Ayur Appa Nene Kani Ganenam. This is always in my mind. That attracted me towards Guru Ayur. So by God's grace, we have been coming into Guru Ayur almost every year. But this year, due to pandemic situation, we could not come. So we went to a very nearby Krishna a temple to, you know, compensate that. Hopefully, in the coming years, we would come. Um, I think I've taken a lot of time. I don't know whether I missed out um, some wonderful people. There are so many guys who played with me. There are so many officials like, you know, Karnakar Nair to um, uh, George to so many. Um, uh, that, yeah, there is one incident which I think I should tell you before concluding. Otherwise, I'll be uh, missing something. You tell me, boss, why I should not make this statement here. I came to Malapuram to, as a selector of Tamil Nadu team to watch the one-day games. It is called some Vijaya Sorry Trophy. I met there Mr. Balakrishnan, president of Kerala Credit Association, I think. He asked me, and yes, sir, I got a request to make. What? I played for Kerala, but I played only for eight matches, all right. But Kerala and a cap, Kerala and a colors, I can't do it. I would love to have it because I keep on shifting. I kept on shifting from place to place. Somehow or other, I missed out. Penda went and any good county cap of Kurta I can just give me your address. Believe me or not, sir, on the fourth day, I got different kinds of county caps, including Panama cap by a courier. This was not, it was not stopped there by Mr. Balakrishnan. It so happened the very next month, I, I as a match referee, I went to Cochin, the stadium ground to officiate between Andhra and Kerala. Gopakumar, Kumar, being the selector and the manager, whatever he came, he presented, presented me the entire cricketing kit, including a watch which I'm wearing, which I'm showing it to you. Kerala Cricket Association watch, shirts, trousers, everything, including sweaters. You tell me for a guy to uh, play only eight games, who is not Kapil Dev, who is only Kali, why should Kerala shower so much of affection and love on me? Will I not be emotional? Will I not be grateful to all of you? Will I not be loyal to all of you? So with this uh, thing, I would like to say many, many thanks. Big, big thanks to every one of you. If I missed out somebody, if you have not mentioned some wonderful names, uh, please forgive me because you know my memory could be short, and I, I, they, because I need some two three hours. Is, is one hour and fifteen minutes not enough? Because so much of uh, uh, painted uh, feelings I've got uh, about Kerala. Uh, I love you guys. I really I mean it, and whatever I've said, it has come from my heart. I have not taken this particular uh, webinar to impress anybody, far from it at this age. I'm very proud to be a part of Kerala first and then Tamil Nadu next. This is not billeting Tamil Nadu again. This is the way I've been treated and continue to be treated. Why not I be good to all of you? I think my, me and my family, including my sons up in US, they are listening to it. My sons uh, Rajesh and his family, Dinesh and his family, my wife Rajalakshmi, all of us take this opportunity to 
opportunity to thank the entire uh, uh, setup of this webinar, the Calicut, uh, the Cricketing Days and beyond all these organizers. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to you for having me. Today. If you have taken most of your time, please bear with me. Uh, I'm so grateful. Thank you very much for this wonderful evening. Hope you had a good time with me. Thank you. So thank you very much, sir. You said you are becoming emotional. We were getting goosebumps talk, hearing you. It is such a lovely experience, sir. You have taken us uh, to, I think, uh, to Calicut to a greater height now. I think uh, we did, uh, we took the right decision to have you as a speaker, and you have taken Calicut to a different level now. I think uh, it is much more than what all of us thought. At least uh, people like me, we have not seen you playing in Calicut. I am sure. Um, this this whatever you said is really motivating and i'm sure there should have been some more youngsters here who should have listened to you but definitely the recordings of this uh, program will be uh, uploaded on our youtube so i'm sure many of them will get inspired by your talk thank you very much sir and just one few observations one thing i would like to tell you is narayan kuti is listening to you here he is uh, he is attending this webinar you know, Nandi and I have got a very special relationship. Um, uh, you know, he won't talk much, but if you have got any, if you have got any problems on cricketing matters, just go to Narayan Kuti. That's why I'm saying Kali is nothing. Narayan Kuti international map. So don't compare Kali or anybody. <laughs> it is right. Is not everybody can become a kind that kind of a match referee. And second thing is to maintain that he has got a beautiful way of conducting himself in such a fashion. Everybody would love him. He's got a lovely smile too. And I, could he thank you for listening to me? I didn't know that you were here. Um, and so happy that you know you could listen to me. And in the, many of my friends are listening to me, including I Raman, Srinivasan, Venugopal. Uh, oh, so 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 nice of you guys. Thanks. I hope I have not overstepped my limits or yes. I have not gone beyond what you have So uh, we have a few questions which I will uh, quickly go through. I think you missed one thing about sure. your uh, uh, first Renji match at uh, Mananjara Maidan. Did you mention that or did I miss it? No, I did say that because what I said was there is a special relationship between me and uh, Mananjara. When I played for uh, Kerala, the first match was against Tamil Nadu. When I played for Tamil Nadu, the first match was against Kerala. I said in the beginning, why should that match be played at Calicut? It could have been played elsewhere. It's because Kali is playing probably in Tamil Nadu. The match was probably organized, I don't know. It was played in Calicut. And I played in the very same my ground, I said, Mananjana oh, I yeah. did mention that. Yeah, I, I got, got the man and my partner was CK Baskar. This is what I'm saying. Wherever I go, whenever I do, whatever I do, some part of Kerala will always be there. Somewhere in the, in the, in the loop or somewhere in the uh, equation, you can always find Kerala up there. Yeah, so, so I, I, obviously, I belong to yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, I was talking to one of my friends in Cochin. <laughs> Any questions you can ask? Yeah, yeah. So I was actually uh, talking about uh, with my one of my friends in Ernakulam saying that you are the speaker for the next webinar. So he fondly remembers one match where you had come to play for uh, in uh, for major tournament, and he was saying it was a 50-over match, and you uh, you bowled one from one end from the first over to the last over from one end. Correct. Correct. So that that was a semi-final match. Uh, it was at Puja, again, again that uh, famous uh, oval. Uh, I bowled 25 overs. I think um, other guy out bowled 24 overs. I'm not certain whether it was Najam Hussain. We bowled 49 overs on the trot. And we won that game. Okay. But one thing, was... to bowl in... The... Yeah. Uh, which was your favorite end in Mananjara? Is the LIC or the Park Restaurant end? Which end was your favorite? Both I have not seen. I can I manager, I only see the pavilion end, you know. Pavilion the end. the pavilion yeah. end was the one that both ends were fine to me. Both ends were fine to me. I have no problem. As long as I was getting bowling, I was happy. I was not <laughs> going to the pitch end. <laughs> I, I know that it was a silly question for you, but still, uh, uh, some people have got some favorite things. Bowling. 
no no don't say that and no, don't 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 do that nothing wrong in asking any questions but the thing was when manager uh, he, once you like the ambience once you like the ground and once you like the atmosphere fortunately for me uh, anything that i could do in manager was coming good to me i also wanted to ask you one i forgot to mention one name uh, if i remember when i remember manager i remember gk rajagopal as one called gore he was expin very wonderful bowler wonderful cricket is he up there by any chance in calicut uh, sudan sir is the right person so sudan sir can you uh, answer it can you unmute and answer uh, okay okay I don't know. Anyway, if you see him, please yes. come and make personal. Uh, tell him, uh, Damodar Gore is not uh, no more. He passed away one one year back. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Right. Carry on. Carry on. You ask me other questions. What other questions? Please shoot. Uh, your message for the youngsters of today. Yeah. <clears throat> Unlike our yesterday years. today cricket has become a profession a money making mission they got a beautiful wonderful opportunity to make a career for yourself as a cricketer but for you to become a to get that kind of reputation to get that kind of place either in ipl or in ranji trophy or in dulip trophy or whatever matches you have to work hard nothing comes to you easy nothing comes to you free of cost please appreciate uh, if you have to bowl 20 overs At a stretch, you have to bowl 20 overs at a stretch, and if you have to bowl 140, 130, 145, you have to really work hard. It's not gym, gymnastics. I mean, swimming is a wonderful, wonderful exercise because your shoulder will get strengthened, and uh, you have to be free from uh, all the other um, uh, what do you call um, uh, luxuries. You have to literally concentrate on cricket. Uh, cricket today, if, even if somebody plays a Ranji Trophy match for the state. If you play eight matches, you take home something close to thirteen to fourteen lakhs. That is the salary of an IIT MBA guy today. Um, maybe, maybe slightly more or more, even more. I am not saying. But cricket has got a future. But the only problem with cricket is you can't depend on cricket alone because by thirty-six you can't play cricket. The problem again, cricket also gives you money, gives you name, gives you fame, and all that. Then what happens? It also it also puts you in a The cold storage at the after the age of thirty six, thirty seven, because you can't play cricket. You have not gone to the college. You have not gone to the school. What would you do after thirty seven? Your life starts only after thirty seven. So it's all the more important that you have to educate yourself apart from playing cricket seriously. Both have to go together. There's nothing. I, if I play cricket, I play only cricket. If I study, I play study. That is not the case. Both can go together. I think. Uh, 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 cricket is today a wonderful game to play. Not only for the thing, even for financially, it is very, very good. Subject to how serious you are. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, I think uh, we'll uh, uh, close the session right now, and we'll go to the next uh, session. But uh, we'll be open. Uh, I think most of us would like to talk to you in person. So after uh, the vote of thanks. Uh, we'll definitely open up the uh, chat box and we'll unmute all so we can have a one to one chat after this so let me just uh, go ahead with a few of those uh, presentations that i have and uh, this is going for uh, the conference part uh, we have one of our uh, a former kerala ranji player mn nand kumar who passed away uh, last week of december uh, so uh, we, our respects to uh, mr nand kumar uh just once again just reminding that our youtube channel is open we'll be uploading the recorded version of today's uh, session uh just give us some time maybe in a few days time we will upload this video because we didn't go live on youtube this time and uh, next webinar as our president said uh, maybe we'll take a break now so we, all of us are focused on the ja january 17th event 
and uh, special invitation to you sir uh, uh, so kalyan sundaram sir please be there on calicut we would like to have you in person so i extend a personal invitation to you and on behalf of ecc rms i extend a warm welcome please do come sir uh, you will add value for us give me a couple of days because i think i have to talk to my wife and sons yesterday also krishna kumar and sridharna told me yeah uh, i'll just check with them because i live in now right now i live in pondicherry yeah again i have to are, are you listening to me yes sir Uh, so i have to uh, travel from pondicherry to madras airport again they are coming back again so i'm slightly feeling um, jittery but uh, i will talk to my wife and sons and get back to you in a day or two yeah so we'll be honored if we can make it no i would love to be there i would love <laughs> to be there but the question is because of the pandemic situation i'm getting worried nothing else you know the reason being i live in a different community here so once i go and come out go out of this community and come back again i am quarantined okay. uh, that apart i want to know whether i can go is i have to go in a taxi from here to the thing the taxi wala has, has to be good again from there on to calicut and all that so I'm, i'll just talk to my kids as a son and uh, my wife and get back to you maybe tomorrow or day after sure thank you thank you sir so uh, over to dr silju matthew who is one of our founder members of ecc uh, over to you silju Thank you, Anup. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, good evening and a warm greeting to one and all. Uh, let me begin with my respects to the most wonderful human being, ever jovial and a great friend, late Ranji, who touched the hearts of all at ECC and the reason we are all here today. You may not be here today, but your memories are etched in our hearts forever. organizing an event of this nature needs a lot of effort and commitment and it's my privilege and honor to express gratitude on behalf of rms ecc for the ninth webinar of the ranji memorial lecture series first of all let me congratulate shri kalyana sundaram sir for an excellent lecture on your journey of cricket starting from rec calicut to attain greater glory playing with the who's who of cricket a passionate emotional and absorbing narrative that kept us glued to the lecture thank you sir you are an inspiration and a role model for us all thank you shri vishwanath sir for the incisive and detailed introduction of the speaker special thanks to all the distinguished attendees representing the cream of past cricketers from kerala and calicut for your constant support and encouragement and it's great to see the post lecture interaction of camaraderie and one homey that this wonderful event provides to catch up with the old friends and mentors gratitude to the media print and broadcasting especially to malayalam manorama madhubumi and red fm for promoting the event and reaching out to the people at large thank you mr president the dynamic uh, mr paul vargis and his team for wonderfully organizing the event and finally cheers to anup the face and brain behind the show must congratulate anup for his commitment to the program and moderating the event to perfection thank you all and have a great evening thank you and over to you anup <laughs> 